Sherry. Hey Daniel, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Good. Monte Cristo's opening soon. Yes, can't wait. I really need your expertise on um, what are gonna be the best melters and some really great cheeses that we yeah. can be working with. We're gonna taste uh, five different cheeses today that would be great for grilled cheese. This guy here, just a little bit of plain, fresh chef. This is from Yarmouth Farms. This is not an aged cheese. So it's made and then I get it the next morning. Just a really beautiful, fresh, clean goat cheese. It's got a it's got a um, a density to the curd that isn't always there in mm. some fresh chefs. I think that this would work really well as like a schmear or mm -hmm. something like that. So the second cheese we're tasting is this guy here. This yeah. is called Pond Hopper. It's from Tumalo Farms in Bend, Oregon. This is a goat milk gouda that is washed in beer. It melts beautifully. Mm. Um, and the beer, when you heat this up, you get this really wonderful aroma because the little the sweetness from the hops just turns in, like you can smell it from a mile away. It's mm. really awesome. It's almost like the classic perfect hamburger, cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. It's got this really beautiful sort of gamey flavor. It's making me think of lamb. Rain Shadow Meats had some beautiful lamb crepinettes, so maybe we could just sear off like pound a patty, do that something sounds. with that. I'd love to play with this goat cheese with it, kind of do a dual goat oh, again, yeah. a schmear. Mint maybe, chimichurri drizzled with that. Yes. And then it's not just cheese, it's how cheese and other ingredients mix together. Absolutely. This looks beautiful. We've got the crepinettes mm -hmm. with the chev mm -hmm. schmear, and we've got that beautiful um, pond hopper, and look how it's melting. I just love the rosemary bread for grilled cheese sandwiches. Mmm. That doesn't suck. The gaminess of that goat cheese with the fat of the lamb is just perfect. Yeah, this is what I call a good perfect. breakfast sandwich. <laughs> this would be a killer breakfast sandwich. Mm. 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 I do want to try some of the vegetable on it. Where are these pickles from? These are moon brine out of Portland, Oregon. That's a beautiful addition. You were right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That looks like Telegio. Telegio is the classic stinky cheese from Italy. This one is made by Parolari. And this Telegio is not nearly as stinky as most, but I really like it for something like grilled cheese because it has a really stable curd. I think of I think of cherries and I think of port for some yeah. reason when a little something like deep and dark and sweet is great for that salty mushroomy flavor. I also, you know, I know you're a purist, but I'm kind of the mad scientist. But I was thinking, what if we were to add like a schmear to that? and give it a little bit of a, a softness on the palate with that beautiful ooze of the cheese. I've got some wild rocket, maybe with a little lemon zest salad, so kind of cook it and then put that in the center oh, afterwards for a little crunch. Macrina baguette, Telegio, sour cherry and allspice puree right there. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a ricotta spread, and I'm gonna now add just a little bit of beautiful rocket arugula. Oh, that's such a nice, I like having that little bit of color too. Yeah. To see what happens. Okay. Here. All right. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so good. Like I said, I'm a purist. I wouldn't have thought of putting all this stuff on it, but it balances perfectly. Really delicious. Cheers. That says a lot coming. From you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's talk cheddar. Mm -hmm. Cheddar is a really important part of grilled cheese. Everybody thinks of cheddar and melting Absolutely. and so forth. Absolutely. But it doesn't always melt well. This is a very wonderful American cheddar from Grafton Village in Vermont. This is their two-year raw milk cheddar. So this has got a lot of flavor, good sharpness, mm. nice like milky mouthfeel, and it's a great melter. Now the other thing that you can add in to kind of beef up your flavor a little bit is some of the best cheddar known to man. Keen's cheddar from Neil's Yard Dairy. 16 months old, so very aged, handmade, very different type of cheddar. Um, and this stuff is very expensive mm -hmm. and it's worth every penny. Beautiful. It definitely has a little bit of a horseradish kick yes, to it. It's absolutely. got a nice, you know, kind of gets your salivary glands going mm -hmm. there a little bit. And the acidity still is incredibly strong even as the cheese is aged. Yes. So you get this nuttiness, but you also get this high acid. Mm -hmm. We added like a little bit of that to the Grafton just to kind of build the flavor mm -hmm. punch. With That's the, what I think would be awesome. We can maybe do a little play on the, you know, what I'm thinking is a classic. I've got um, a spiced blueberry jam that I made that I think would be really mm -hmm. beautiful to sort of dunk and maybe some brioche 
bread that can kind delicious. of so crunchy and soft. But I think the sharpness of that and the sweet, spicy mm -hmm. blueberry could be great. And when I say spicy, they're, they're more um, sweet spices like allspice and cinnamon, right, not, right. not jalapeno spice. Yeah. I am so ready. This so, looks awesome. Grafton and the Neal's Yard Keens yep. cheddar. Macrina brioche. <laughs> Oh, that looks wonderful. And the Neil's yard is mm. so It tiny. really comes through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try it with this blueberry. Blueberry. The spice blueberry au jus dipping sauce. Mm. That is delicious. That nice little bit of sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh, good job. Would you come <laughs> to the truck for this? Oh, yeah.